It was goddamn autumn on the island of Sodor, and leaves had gone all over the tracks, making Thomas pissed. Great! From pulling coaches to becoming a glorified leaf blower, the glamour never ends on the island of Sodor. However, Thomas on a particularly crisp autumn day spotted Terrans ploughing through a field, his tracks looking like something out of a sci-fi movie. What's the occasion, Terrence? Auditioning for a role in Caterpillars Take Sodor? These Caterpillar wheels, they're my winter get-up, Thomas. It's autumn. Yeah, well, blame AI for writing this script. Anyway, they let me go places you wouldn't dare with your dainty little wheels. Da! Who needs to go off-road when you're as handsome and rail-bound as me? Enjoy mud wrestling with vegetables. As winter descends like a director calling for a surprise plot twist, Thomas finds himself staring down a snowplow, his arch-nemesis. You need this, Thomas. The forecast says we're in for a real blockbuster. Over my shiny blue body! That thing rides up my buffers like an uncomfortable pair of underwear. After a disastrous theatrical attempt to ditch his snowplow, which now looks like modern art, Thomas finds himself confronting the heavyweight champion of winter, the mighty Snowdrift. Thomas, forgetting he's not in an action movie, tries to barrel through. Spoiler, it doesn't go well. Hey, careful with that shovel. I'm ticklish around my undercarriage. Need a tow, Thomas? Or planning to start a new life as an igloo? Yeah, laugh it up, tractor boy. Just get me out of this popsicle stand. Ugh. With more tug than a sensational tabloid headline, Terence calls Thomas free. Ugh, thanks, Terence. Your caterpillar wheels are... not as hideous as I said. They're like snow chains, but for, you know, show-offs. All's well that ends well. Just remember, rails aren't everything. Maybe there's a lesson here. Like, don't diss unconventional wheels or underestimate snow.